Hi, it's Jo here from Rhythm and Tunes Piano School. And hoping you can hear me okay. I just forgot to get something up. I was going to um, I was going to read through the outline of my uh, music on steroids program for you today. Just so you know what's coming up uh, when we start next week. Next week, 10th of June, Wednesday morning, 9.30. And uh, I just wanted to take you through uh, what's involved in all of that, what you would be, um, what would, what, what, what you would be coming in to, um, to learn. So uh, I meant to get that up before I came on live. So now I've got live, which wasn't the objective. But anyway, I am, um, Sitting here in the studio in between lessons and uh, just got a couple of little celebrations that I thought I would share with you. So I uh, had a number of um, adult uh, student classes through today and was working with a group this morning. One of the ladies is working through a song called Someone to Watch Over Me. Uh, it's an old 1950s Ella Fitzgerald song. And uh, I, I, I kind of I, I'm in awe sometimes at the at the level of of um, almost hmm, I won't call it theory we call it integrated theory the the level of um, of uh, of theory that we that we talk about after a relatively short amount of time of um, of working through uh, the chords so uh, yeah she was just working through some flat nine chords and. Um, some flat five chords, some diminished seventh chords, some sus seven chords, and she was talking about uh, inverting them. So, uh, so she got a nicer sound. So it was just, um, I don't know. I, I just, I just feel really excited for people when they get to that level because I know they're going to be producing a really beautiful uh, sound on the keyboard purely from just sight reading lead sheets and, and reading the chords. So, uh, so that was really good. And I've just had a class just leave a minute ago. We have been working on rhythm uh, for quite a few weeks. So you may already be aware that uh, we uh, we teach thirty to fifty songs uh, over a period of of six to 12 months or how, however long it takes. And um, once we've got that foundation of, um, of a large repertoire of all different styles and genres, we would then reverse engineer the process back up onto the sheet music. So a lot of people think, oh no, uh, we don't teach how to read music, we just teach people how to play. But that's not true. We um, just don't teach people how to read music immediately. And even if you have read music before, we don't teach people how to read music the way that they have read music before, generally speaking. So it's a new, um, very different process very you're looking at music through a completely different lens by the time you get to that process but we break it up we um we we do a whole program devoted to rhythm reading rhythm and then we do a whole program devoted to reading pitch when we get to reading pitch we certainly don't even look at every boy or whatever it is i haven't taught it for so many years i can't even remember every good boy deserves freedom so we do not teach reading music like that at all we have a very very simple uh, concise easy way of um, of teaching people how to read pitch anyway these particular ladies who were here in, in the studio with me this afternoon they uh have been working on ties and dotted rhythm and rests and we all clapped through a line of each of those variations um, uh, this afternoon and they all did it brilliantly and the improvement is about a million percent from about four weeks ago so I'm super excited about that I just love to see people get better and better at, um, at things like that so very excited and um, I think I might go and shout myself a quick coffee uh, before I pick up the kids and do my next class. So if you are there, it'd be really great to know that you can hear me. Just drop a comment below, say hi, and let me know uh, who you are because it's not telling me who you are. I can see there's a couple of you there. So, uh, yes, Music on Steroids, the next round commences next week, 10th of June, 9.30 a.m. South Australian time. And I already have a bunch of really beautiful ladies coming along and I have got a few extra places if you are interested in joining us as well. And so I thought I would just read through what it is that we cover off 
in those five weeks. We also have, um, you, there's three private one-on-one -on -one lessons included in that package uh, for the three weeks after we finish the five weeks. Um, and so we're, we're working together for approximately eight weeks altogether. So uh, during week one, I'm just gonna read through the program through you. We learn a beautiful jazz ballad. You will get people dancing as you belt out the 12 bar blues. That always sounds really great. One of the most popular chord progressions used in contemporary music, you'll learn that in the first week. You'll become familiar with all 12 major chords and uh, we'll show you some really great sounding left hand arpeggio chords to give your accompaniments that extra little bit of pizzazz because what is an accompaniment without an extra bit of pizzazz for goodness sake. So week two, second week, play and sing along to the classic song Amazing Grace. Build upon your knowledge of the 12 bar blues using riffs, a gorgeous simple version of Beethoven's Fair Elise. And then if you continue on with lessons after this program, uh, throughout the first nine levels of this entire program, we learn the um, entire original version of um, Beethoven's Fair Elise from start to finish. So that's really exciting to see students play the entire uh, Fair Elise. Um, and also in week two, uh, we will continue to process your major chords using a variety of three chord songs. Then we would move into week three. So each week is a two hour power session, full on. It's the equivalent of three to four lessons a week. So you do um, really need to have uh, learnt the piano as a child, maybe for a year or two or three, uh, or even as an adult for a year or two or three before you come into this course. Um, if you've learnt the guitar or another instrument, or you do have some musical background, then that's probably okay as well. I have had some people come through who haven't done piano, but they're pretty... Um, uh, had at least a year in another instrument. So week three, if transposing always eluded you, then this week you will be shown a simple uh, strategy whereby you'll be playing the 12 bar blues in all 12 keys. Don't be surprised if you start having multiple aha moments this week as you see all the repeated patterns that you have never noticed before. Uh, this week we'll also build and develop the songs we have already learned, making them sound even more amazing. So it's very exciting, very, very exciting program. Can't wait to, um, I love teaching this program, can't wait to get started again next Wednesday morning, 9.30 South Australia time. So week four, all 12 minor and suspended chords. You can now sit down and play from any lead sheet and create a great sound as you sing along to all your favourite songs. An introduction to composing and arranging of your very own music using all musical ingredients from the first three weeks and then more songs, of course. And then in week five, we go through seventh chords, all three three different types of seventh chords, as well as augmented, diminished, sixth, ninths, eleventh, and thirteenth chords, making your accompaniment sound even better and richer in flavour and texture. You're now playing a variety of gospel, blues, classical, jazz, and accompaniment style music. So there you go, you're a star after five weeks. If you can commit to that two hours each Wednesday morning and you really need about half an hour a day uh, as you travel through this course. For about five days a week, you need to be working through the content for about 25 minutes, half an hour a day. You do need to commit to that. You cannot come in week two and tell me, oh, sorry, I didn't have time to do the homework because you will feel lost, so I'm just giving you a heads up and you need to have the time before you make a, a decision to uh, come and join us in this program. I would love to have you, uh, but you do need to have the time and you do need to commit to uh, that um, that playing time each day. So there you go. I, um, I hope that makes sense. And um, hey, Margaret, how are you going? Can you hear me okay? I hope so. I've just uh, rattled on um for however long i hope you can hear me anyway so uh yeah i, I just um wanted to jump on here share my two celebrations from the two uh adult classes that i had this morning people are progressing people are playing beautiful music people seem really happy so i'm happy and um, i'm gonna run off and uh, grab my coffee quickly and i will see you next time okay take care for now bye